effects. In solar energy, in this video, we will learn about the production of solar grade silicon. We have already learned that silicon is an important constituent of solar cell. But it is not simply silicon, but it is a very, very high quality solar grade silicon that we should produce to be used for solar cells to generate the electricity. So let us learn the production of solar grade silicon. First, I request you to like this video. I'm sure you will like it. Share and subscribe my channel also. So let us learn how to produce solar grade silicon. For that, we should first learn what are the properties of silicon that makes it a semiconductor material for the PV cells. So first we will discuss the physical properties, then the chemical properties. Silicon is a fourth group element with semiconductor properties and a band gap of 1.12 electron volts at 25 degree centigrade, which is very, very important, which makes it a semiconducting material. At atmospheric pressure, silicon crystallizes into a diamond cubic structure. The vapors of silicon below 500 degrees results into amorphous structures, but on Reheating it above 500 degrees, it again crystallizes. On solidifying, it expands and it contracts on melting. The impurities present in the silicon lattice ionize at low temperature, providing free electrons or holes. And this phenomenon is utilized to control the semiconductor properties of silicon. We have already seen in the construction and working of the PV cells, the formation of holes and electrons. The silicon, if doped with phosphorus and boron, it enhances its semiconducting properties. It has a high refractive index, which limits its optical applications. On alloying with small quantities of impurities, it becomes brittle. The mechanical operations are similar to that of glass. Chemical properties of silicon are also very, very important. Silicon shows tetravalency and it is stable in its tetravalent state. It has a strong affinity towards oxygen and therefore it forms stable oxides and silicates. The elemental silicon forms a thin protective layer of silicon dioxide around it. Silicon and carbon form silicon-carbon bonds which find applications in photovoltaic as well as electronic industries. Silicon form hydrides and monosilanes, which is the key product for producing semiconducting grade silicon. It reacts with chlorine to produce trichloro tetrachlorosilane, which are intermediate products in the purification process of production of solar grade silicon. They are volatile at low temperatures and decompose to produce elemental silicon. Silicon and germanium are mutually soluble in all proportions. So these chemical properties are very, very important in production of solar grade silicon. There are many processes for the production of solar grade silicon, but the most widely accepted process is union carbide process. So we will discuss union carbide process of production of solar grade silicon in detail. It has four simple steps. First is 
hydrogenation of tetrachloroxylene second is conversion of dichloroxylene third is the conversion of dichloroxylene into silane and fourth is the distillation of silane followed by decomposition of silane into solar grade silicon so one by one we will start the steps first one is the hydrogenation the tetrachloroxylene is passed through a fluidized reactor over metallurgical silicon in an atmosphere of hydrogen to produce trichloroxylene as shown in the reaction sicl4 is passed over metallurgical silicon that is si in an atmosphere of hydrogen to produce trichloroxylene in the second step the di the trichloroxylene is converted into dichloroxylene by passing through an ion exchange resin containing a catalyst as quaternary ammonium salt which converts the trichloroxylene into dichloroxylene and the unreacted tetrachloroxylene is sent back to the fluidized reactor in the third step the dichloroxylene is converted into silane by passing it through a fixed bed column and the silane produced is then taken to the distillation followed by de decomposition the trichloroxylene which is formed as a by product is sent back to the ion exchange resin containing quaternary ammonium resin to convert into dichloroxylene and the silane produced in the third step is led to the distillation tower where it is after distillation decomposed at high temperature that is pyrolysis to produce silicon this silicon which is produced is then purified further using zone refining process so there are four steps and the four reactions are shown here for you to understand it properly the benefits of union carbide process is that the products formed at each step is separated from the reactant that remains unreacted and it is sent back to the previous steps to be reused the by products obtained are also recycled for the reaction as the hydrogen produced in the last step is used in the first step to produce an atmosphere of hydrogen the benefits of union carbide process are many we have already seen that nothing is wasted and therefore it is widely accepted process after getting the silicon it is refined whatever process we have used to obtain the silicon it should be purified to get a solar grade silicon that is a very high purity silicon to be used in the pv cells the zone refining process is based on the principle of solubility of the impurities in the molten metal than in the solid metal when the silicon containing the impurities is melted the impurities move into the molten metal leaving the solid metal above and we melt the metal using a heater so when we move the heater on the rod by putting it on a clamp vertically the impurities also move along with the heater and in this way the silicon rod which solidifies becomes free from the impurities let us discuss it in more detail the procedure is very simple the silicon rod is clamped vertically on the stand and electric heater is moved from top to bottom very slowly and this is called one zone pass so when the heater moves on the rod from top to bottom the heater melts the rod 
and the impurities are more soluble in the molten silicon therefore when the move when the heater is moved down the impurities also move down and the upper portion gradually solidifies leaving it in a pure state and in this way all the impurities come down along with the heater movement and accumulates in the lowest portion which is then cut down and the upper rod which is now free from the impurities is separated from the lowest part so this is repeated many times and this continuation is called zone passes so a single silicon rod is subjected to many zone pass this is the diagram which shows the arrangement how the impure silicon which is to be purified is clamped vertically on the stand the holder is seen and the heater is slowly moved the impurities come down along with the movement of the heater the upper portion is now purified and it is separated from the lowest portion by cutting it away from the pure silicon so this is how the zone refining process of silicon is performed to get a very very superior quality solar grade silicon